Alright, so we've identified that my opponent's hips are in line with my hips. I always want to occupy the inside space, so my elbows need to be on the inside. I'd, I'd like for him to be able to put some of his weight on his hands. I'm going to do that by either bridging or bridging and kneeing him to get him to put weight in his hands. So I have inside position, and I'm going to knee. Boom. That's the bridge and then the knee. So I like, we're going to run our, our forearm across the, the line of the belt, basically on the outside of the hips. I'm, I can make this gable grip or I can stack them. Either one is fine. But I'm going to bring my elbow to the inside if they weren't already, which they should be. When I um, shrimp now, my goal is to get my bottom leg flat. So I want to get underneath my opponent's legs, which you would do just for the demonstration to spread your feet out. There you go. I want, I want my, uh, my knee to get underneath his foot. So I can also use like a little, a little bump with the uh, hands as well. But my bottom leg has to be flat when I shrimp. So I'm going to get bridge, shrimp, step over, collect it. So now I've got this quarter guard. This is, if I can get here, I can pretty much get out. What I don't want to do is turn my shoulders too far this way and overexpose my back. So I keep my shoulders in a good position. I'm going to use my elbow to scrape his knee behind my knee. This basically gives me, I'm sorry. So I'm, I'm in half guard, but I'm pointing the wrong way. So I'm going to point to the other side. Now, if I want to get back to full guard, which I often do, I'm going to need another shrimp. So I'm going to get a big shrimp. My elbow is going to go in front. My knee is in front of his knee. Now, if I want to get full guard back, which I, I, I may want to, I'm going to need another shrimp. So I'm going to shrimp. Free my There it is. 